we uh, took off from Whiteman, and we're going on a big trip now. We're going flying all the way up to Washington, up to the Gorge Amphitheater, to see uh, three nights of concerts by Dave Matthews Band. This was going to be the longest trip we've ever flown together as a family, from Southern California all the way up to the high desert of Central Washington. Dave Matthews Band is my favorite band, and I had been dreaming about flying us to the iconic Gorge Amphitheater for years and years. I had built up this trip in my head for a long time, and the girls were finally old enough, so we decided to make it happen. The band is known for being great at improvisation. That would turn out to be a big theme on this trip, both for the band in a unique way and for us as well. It would remind me why diverting is part of the private pilot checkride and teach me a bunch of new stuff I failed to consider. Our trip started at our home airport in Los Angeles. Before we took off, Goomba, my youngest daughter, had a bit of a headache. The weather was overcast and it was so early the tower wasn't open yet, so I called SoCal Approach by phone to get my clearance. Squawk 7261. Eric, 631, Bravo Whiskey is clear to uh, Red Bluff Airport. Uh, with the Whiteman IFR departure procedure, radar vector, Gorman, as filed. And climb maintain 5,000, expect 10,000 10 minutes after 128.75, 7261. And just to confirm that the departure procedure is off of runway 30. Number one, Bravo is Kia, affirmative. We got our clearance and then a five minute window for our IFR release. Climate traffic, Cherokee 631, Bravo Whiskey, taking runway 30, IFR departure straight out. Whiteman. Are right, you guys ready? Is everybody ready? Doors closed and latched back there. Seatbelts fastened. Lights. We were a little bit on a tight Camera. schedule since the flight up would be a little over eight hours with a lunch stop. Uh, traffic, Jerk 631, Raw Whiskey, and departing runway 30. I always like to try to land before dark to minimize the night flying risk, especially in an unfamiliar area with terrain. Pages are green. The airspeed's alive. So even though Goomba wasn't feeling her best, we elected to take off in hopes the medicine would kick in and she would start feeling better after a little while. Well, my traffic, uh, R2180, attack, uh, Alpha, 3 0 well, my... Okay, turn left turn, heading 260. So-called approach, Cherokee 631, Bravo Whiskey. On our uh, IFR departure out of Whiteman, heading 260, 1800, climbing. Number 631, Bravo Whiskey, SoCal departure, IDENT, climb and maintain 10,000. IDENT, climb and maintain 10,000, one Bravo Whiskey. Number one, Bravo Whiskey, radar contact, three miles west of the Whiteman airport. No, Roger, one Bravo Whiskey. It's days like this where I'm glad to have an instrument rating that lets us poke through a thin cloud layer to get out of the valley and up over the mountains. Many times it amounts to just about a minute in the clouds. That's so beautiful. After climbing through the cloud layer, it was clear Goomba was just getting worse. She's gonna throw up and let's get um, a bag from here. There's one behind me, I think. Okay, one Bravo Whiskey, proceed direct to Gorman. Okay, direct Gorman, one Bravo Whiskey, thanks. We've got a timer set. If we need to land, we're just gonna have to land. Southwest 3, it's totally. Southwest 3, it's no problem. It's all clear over here. This is just a marine layer, so it'll be easy to land. Uh, in the Fox Field or Baker's Field or something. LA Center, uh, Cherokee 631, Bravo Whiskey is 8,000, climbing 10,000. 631, Bravo Whiskey, Alaska Center, Burbank altimeter 29993. 29931, Bravo Whiskey. And 1 Bravo Whiskey, after Gorman, you clear Victor 137 to Avenal. After Gorman, clear Victor 137 to Avenal, 1 Bravo Whiskey. I had gone into ISO mode for a bit so that I could fly the plane while Poppins assessed Goomba status. I think we need to land at Bakersfield. Yeah. Far away is Bakersfield. Or, uh, we could land at uh, Taft Kern over here. Probably. Uh, 8-11, checking in, 1-2000. 30 minutes. Really sorry, Eric. No, one seven seven nine eight seven. Evil, uh, one two thousand for traffic. 
go up there. I don't know what to do. I chose Taft Kern County because it was right along our route of flight. But that choice wouldn't be the best for many reasons, which you'll see coming up, and I'll get into more at the end of this video. But first, I want to take just a quick minute to let you all know about something I think is important and that we use all the time when traveling. And that's the sponsor of this video, NordVPN. They're supporters of this channel, so definitely check out their service because it helps the channel a lot. Like you, we're always traveling through airports, FBOs, Airbnbs, and using public Wi-Fi, which is vulnerable to hackers. We want to keep our personal information and data safe. That's why we use NordVPN's virtual private network to create a secure connection, encrypt internet traffic, and block phishing websites with just one click. It has a new feature called Threat Protection that guards your computer against trackers, malware, and other malicious sites. Another awesome benefit of NordVPN is that we can get access to services and shows not normally available in certain countries. So when we travel out of the country, we can still access services like Netflix and Hulu. I've been using NordVPN for almost a year now on all my devices, and it's great to have that extra peace of mind knowing our personal information is secure wherever we go. I really recommend that you use a VPN, and I really recommend that you use NordVPN. So get the exclusive NordVPN deal at nordvpn.com slash flyingmonkey. Get a two-year plan with a huge discount, plus one additional month for free. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. LA Center, Cherokee 631, Bravo Whiskey. We like to cancel IFR and stay on with you VFR, and divert to Lima 17, Taft, Kern County. We got a passenger not feeling too well. 631 Bravo Whiskey and uh, contact Bakersfield Approach on 118.8, let them know. 118.8, one Bravo Whiskey, thanks. Bakersfield Approach, Cherokee 631 Bravo Whiskey, level 10,000. Cherokee 631 Bravo Whiskey, Bakersfield Approach, good morning. Bakersfield Simeter 29901. 29901 and uh, 631 Bravo Whiskey, we'd like to cancel IFR and uh, stay with you VFR. We need to divert to Taft Kern County, Lima 17. We have a passenger that's not doing well, and uh, we need to divert there. Number one, Bravo Whiskey, Roger, IFR cancellation received. And do you require any assistance or just diverting to the airfield and uh, maintain VFR? No, we don't need any assistance. Thank you very much. We're just going to divert and begin our descent now, leaving 10,000, descending for Lima 17, VFR, one Bravo Whiskey. Roger, thank you. We're on our way down to uh, Kern County Airport. Part of diverting to an airport is quickly gathering all available information about it. For planned airports, I always do a lot of research at home. I read the AFD entry, study the runway lengths and approach lighting, surrounding terrain, and even check the airport's website for special procedures. For unfamiliar areas, I often call the airport and try to get any local tips. But it's just as important to be able to improvise flying to any airport while you're already in the air. Fields at 858, pattern altitude is 1658. We've got uh, runway 7 and 25. And there's no weather reporting there, so I don't know what the winds are going to be. So we'll plan on entering a left downwind runway 25. I think the winds are going to be out of the west. And we'll look at the wind sock. Taft Kern County is an uncontrolled airport with no ATC tower. Try to get an idea of where this airport is. So I see the city here. I think that's the Zero town. Five, Romeo Mike, turn left heading 140. There's a prison and a plant. <laughs> Looks like a railroad track. And uh, right now we've got a sick passenger, and she is really Caravan not doing well, so we're going to land at uh, Kern County Airport, divert there for a little while, and reassess and see how Here's she's doing. Five, Romeo, Mike, uh, give her some time to contact. feel better on the ground or something. 1, 1, really hope that she can feel better. November 631, Bravo Whiskey, I show no traffic between you and Taft Airport. Radar service terminated. Squawk VFR, change to advisory frequency approved. All right, VFR over to advisory. Thanks a lot for your help. One brought whiskey. Good for that runway. I don't see the runway, do you? Uh, not yet. Okay. Taft, Kern County, traffic jerky, 631 Bravo Whiskey. We're about uh, five miles southeast inbound. Going to enter a left downward runway 25, Kern County traffic. I I see it. Hey, do you see it? Oh, I, right there. I think so like there's a green the green patch and then just to the left of it just towards us there's a big brown patch and then to the left of that there's another brown patch just upstage of that oh okay right uh, yep that looks like a runway yeah taft kern county traffic turkey 631 bravo whiskey 
is uh, about to enter a left downwind runway 25. We're at 2,200, descending to pattern altitude theft. Caution. Terrain. Yeah, Caution. I see it, lady. Terrain. Yeah. Taft, Kern County Traffic, Cherokee 631, Bravo Whiskey is entering a left downwind runway 25, Taft. Caution. Terrain. Caution. Terrain. As I was on the downwind, I was checking the windsock and making sure the runway was clear, when I spotted something unusual. There's like an X there, so... One end of the runway was marked with a big X. I didn't have the wing cam rolling for this leg of the trip, but this is what I saw. The X means the runway is closed. I had seen runways marked with X's before, but never just at one end, so I was confused. Hang on a second. Might not be able to land here. Oh no. I checked for flight on my phone to see if there were any notams. Taft, Kern County traffic, Cherokee 631, Bravo Whiskey is on the uh, left base runway 25, Taft. Moving altitude. Caution. Terrain ahead. Pull up. Terrain ahead. Between a sick passenger, the X on the runway, the terrain alerting, and just flying the airplane in the pattern and making radio calls, I had my hands full. I feel like I should call flight service and make sure oh. we get this. Okay. One, two, two, one. Taft, Kern County traffic, Church 631, Bravo Whiskey is overflying the airport, uh, the runway 25. Approaching altitude. I dialed in flight service on COM1 and monitored the CTAF on COM2. Rancho Marietta Radio, Cherry 631, Bravo Whiskey, over. We'll, be, we'll go down. Leaving altitude. Let's just go to Bakersfield. How far away is it? Uh, just a few minutes, 12 minutes. Rancho Marietta Radio, Cherokee 631, Bravo Whiskey on 122.1. After overflying the field and unsuccessfully trying to call flight service, I just decided to go to Bakersfield Airport instead. Hey, we have to fly to a different airport. This one's closed. All right, so there was like an X on the runway, which means like it's normally closed, but only on one end. And I've never seen that before. And I'm trying to get the note, get the notums and contact flight service, and I'm not able to do either right now. For some reason, I can't get a hold of flight service. Um, the closest flight service station, maybe I wasn't high enough over there. Uh, four flight says that no notams were downloaded, even though it's on the route of flight, which is weird. And I did the pack thing where I packed for the trip. I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, we're gonna go over to uh, Bakersfield. Uh, it's a towered airport, it has more services anyway, so it's probably a better idea. Uh, it's a little bit out of the way, but we'll be there in a few minutes. I didn't want to risk landing at a possibly closed runway or land somewhere where I felt I didn't have complete information about. I kept imagining landing there only to have someone come tell me the runway is closed and then being stuck there. Goomba's situation wasn't so severe that it was an emergency, but I still really wanted to get down so she could have a quiet place to feel better in. So I proceeded on with a second diversion to Bakersfield, gathering all available information about the airport. Bakersfield Tower, Cherokee 631, Bravo Whiskey is about 12 miles southwest of the airport in Valley Yankee. Cherokee 631, Bravo Whiskey, Bakersfield Tower, enter left downwind, runway 30 left. Left downwind, runway 30 left, one Bravo Whiskey. A huge runway, as I've landed here before during flight training, and I just remember doing approaches into here, because they got a, I think they have an ILS or something into 30. Cherokee 1, Bravo Whiskey, wind 2806, runway 30 left, clear to land. Clear to land, tree zero left, one Bravo Whiskey. Alright, that's the runway, that's Approaching tree zero altitude. left. This is definitely Bakersfield Meadows. 500. You guys got your seatbelts fastened. Uh, everybody's not going to You got your keys in the right place. Yeah, hey, one proceed north and off to the air site. Oh yeah, for what Bravo Whiskey, is there like a transient area? I just need to stop somewhere because we got a, um, an unwell passenger right now. Okay, 
one Bravo Whiskey Roger, you can make a right on the next taxiway, hold short, rolling three straight. Right on the next taxiway and hold short at three zero right, one Bravo Whiskey. You one Bravo Whiskey, cross runway three zero right at Echo, and you can proceed southbound past, past the tower. We've got uh, three FBOs to choose from, just let me know which one you'd like. Okay, go across uh, three zero right, and um, then I'll take a right text past the tower to the FBO, so I'll take a look. Thanks, one Bravo Whiskey. Sorry, I, uh, we diverted here because of the sick passenger, so I didn't have a chance to look everything up. One Bravo Whiskey. Yeah, it's no problem. If you guys just need to pull off somewhere, that's fine too, but it sounds like you need some services. Yeah, we'll need to uh, at least get a bathroom here. One Bravo Whiskey, thanks. All right, well, we uh, diverted here to Bakersfield, and uh, we're gonna see if Goomba's gonna get feeling any better on the ground here before uh, maybe we'll get some fuel, we'll see about some ramp fees, and see if we get her feeling better and then take off again. This is gonna set us back, but we just gotta get her feeling better. Bakersfield Jet Center had a nice, quiet, comfortable lounge for Goomba to rest in. We just can't take off of Runway 7 at uh, Taft, Kern County, that's why there's an X. I just read uh, the notes in the AFD, and I could have read that in flight, but um, I didn't, and uh, I think it's better that we diverted here to Bakersfield so we have more services and a nice lounge for Goomba to hang out in and uh, try to recover. But um, yeah, I couldn't get flight service, and um, I was looking at NOTAMs, but I should have looked at the AFD. I missed a couple opportunities to see the information I really needed. The AFD entry in ForeFlight and the remarks section on my Dine on HDX. My best guess is that in the moment, I didn't think to check the AFD because I associate closed runways marked with an X as a temporary state that would require a NOTAM and not necessarily a permanent change that would be listed in the AFD chart supplement. In a way, I got lucky we ended up at Bakersfield because the FBO ended up being a more comfortable place for Goomba to rest and recover than what we would have found at Taft Kern County. After about 45 minutes, she started to feel better, so we got back in the plane and got on our way. Okay, just check all right, we're just about to take off from uh, Bakersfield over to Red Bluff. We're going to go VFR here on this leg. And uh, Goomba's feeling a little bit better, but not all the way, so it's a little touch and go. We might have to land again. And uh, now we're kind of pushing into maybe getting a little rush for lunch and arriving close to sunset. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll manage. It'll be all right. We'll just try to keep safe and get everybody feeling good. In reviewing this footage, I can see that I should have considered FBO amenities for passenger comfort over time savings in choosing a diversion airport. I recognize I was more fixated on completing the mission in daylight hours, and will definitely try to balance all the considerations better in the future. I love flying because inevitably, there's always something unexpected that demands improvisation and challenging complex decision making. I'm stoked to share that you can experience a deeper dive into this scenario with top CFI Jason Miller as part of the scenario section of the Finer Points Ground School app. Along with Flight Chops, we've got a couple scenarios on the app and we'll be adding more with upcoming adventures. It's a great way to learn from an expert's perspective on real world flying scenarios. Be sure to check out and subscribe to our channel for part two of this flying and camping concert weekend adventure to the Gorge Amphitheater. Thanks for coming along on the journey with us.